this is me enjoying a nice gooey calzone cheesy gooey maybe gives you cholesterol and this is me now today i'm gonna be starting and only eating what i catch and forage for the next three days i've made one of these videos before and got a pretty good response on it and been meaning to make one for a while but also been dreading it today i'm in the middle of augusta maine and we're going to be spending the next three days learning how to fish forage and find our food and seeing uh how i feel at the end of it the challenge isn't only survival but it's also to take in all the calories i need for a day which right now as a growing boy to maintain my weight is about 2800 calories a day which is going to be kind of hard to come up with in the wild every day i'm going to be rating my strength my brain and my stomach and we're going to try to see how it fluctuates throughout the next three days and hopefully i can you know at least get three quarters of the calories in a day and i'll consider it a successful day I'm gonna start a timer on my phone. It is 3.05 and it's Saturday, so by Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. By Tuesday, we can eat whatever we want at three o'clock. Okay, I have a two hour drive to get to the fishing spot that I wanna to get to, and then I'm probably gonna to try to forage around there. So that's our first, our first thing we're gonna do. Making my way downtown, moving fast. Almost getting hit by a Subaru. I'd rate my brain right now a nine, my strength a nine and a half, and my gut a 10 because I just ate. All right, well, I ran into the first mishap. I thought the bait shop that I put in was a fly shop and uh, it was a shop that sells worms, sell night crawlers. So we will not be stopping to get different flies. We're just gonna have to work with what we got because the next fly shop is already 40 minutes away. You can see it's like kind of dreary out, so that's not great. It's gonna be six o'clock by the time we get to our fishing spot, so I wanna leave some time to be able to catch some fish. It's supposed to rain all day? Come on, man. Ah, this main weather. I love it so much. As I'm driving along here, I'm keeping my eyes peeled to see if I see anything that I know is edible, mainly plants. I haven't identified anything yet. And I do have a far drive, so I don't want to sit and lollygag too much. Coming up on the first body of water now, so see how blown out this little stream slash river is. Oh wow, look at that. This thing's just a trickle. Well, I've got to say, I don't have much faith, if at all, in this small river. I've eaten these before when they're young. These are ferns. And before they sprout like this, they're called fiddleheads. Very nutritious, high in vitamin C, and I don't see any around that haven't sprouted. Good news, if I get too hungry, I can eat mosquitoes. Oof. All right, here we go. This is good. 
this. This is what I'm excited about right here. So these are cattails, of course. Hmm. These are still too young. These ones are actually from the winter yet. Oh my gosh, look at all these bugs. And are no good, but if you find these before they sprout, they're actually really packed full of iron. They actually have three times the amount of vitamin C as an orange. And uh, some other pretty cool things that you can do with, do with them. All of this growth here looks too young. We don't even have new heads on them yet, so I'm going to leave those be. Look at my buddies. I must be giving off some stink to attract all these bugs. Yeah, I'm not seeing really anything in here. Okay, we're gonna keep driving. We gotta get to the river. I don't know if I can drive down this, so we'll see. Oh, yeah, I can. I think I should be able to drive down this, but in the off chance I can't walk. So it's sucked back all the way up this. There's some tire tracks here and they look relatively fresh, so. Oh, no way. Sick. What are these? These are not edible. That's what they are. Nice. Well. No can do, man. These are tough as nails. I hear a river. Okay. Gorgeous. This is definitely holding fish, so I should have brought a rod. Wasn't really a good idea to walk all the way over here and not have a rod. It's burned a bunch of energy. Not really thinking. After walking back, getting my waders on, and tying up, I only have a half hour left tonight, but I gotta give it a go because I'm not liking my odds with uh, with foraging tonight. The coast where I could go forage like clams and uh, some snails and stuff is about three and a half hours away. So we have, uh, we have some eggs in this basket. Tonight, supposed to get down to a low of 40 and then actually tomorrow it's supposed to stay like relatively chilly all day which I'm not excited about so we're gonna try fishing in the morning tomorrow let's hope we can catch a couple fish in the rain because if we do we can just get out of here and go to the coast tonight A river I have never fished before. In the rain. Right before dark, what could go wrong? Oh, I got fish? No way! No way! I got fish! Second cast! What is it? Smallmouth? It's like a little smallmouth. Hey buddy, what's up? Nice to meet you. You are sadly going to be dinner. All right, that's good. We have dinner at least. One smallmouth bass, probably no bigger than 12 inches. Oh, I got bit again. Got him. Got that one. What is it? Little baby smallmouth? Oh, he's gonna be too small though. Yeah, he's a baby boy. Look at this little dude. 
Wow. See you, bud. I'm not making dinner out of you. Eh, maybe I'll regret that later. All right, let's go back to the truck. I was thinking about saving this fish until the morning, but I think I better just eat them now. It's basically just a snack. And uh, I'm not really a big fan of fish in the morning anyway, as I remember from the last challenge, so. All right, well, here's my cute little bass. Let's see if we can get a filet off of him. Nice, this one actually has eggs in it. So I'll be eating that as well. All right, now I gotta wash the meat. Now the fun part. Normally I wouldn't eat smallmouth. Not at the bad, I just don't really eat them. They're not good though, I would say. olive oil so these are the fish eggs I'm kind of scared to open up <laughs> the vents in here because I don't want all them mosquitoes getting in here. We got our smallmouth bass fillets. We got to be careful not to eat the bones because I could choke. So I'm going to go for the meat first. Smallmouth's a nice white flaky meat. If you're wondering why I took the skin off, it's because it has scales on it and would not taste very good. Yeah, smallmouth isn't like bad, especially this time of year when the water's cold. All right, now I suppose I'll try one of these clusters of eggs. Never have I ever, so let's give her a shot. It's surprisingly not bad. It tastes like a, it's got like the same texture as if you've, ever, if you've ever had like couscous. I could eat about uh, 20 of those right now. But hey, we got one. I'm actually surprised we got we got one. Be up early in the morning tomorrow. Try to catch some more for breakfast. Um, I kind of wish I would have kept some of those cattail stalks. Those have carbohydrates in them, so that, I mean, might have like helped kind of fill me up, but you don't really need carbs. I've ever heard of people being on like a keto diet. Your body kind of gets used to not having carbs after, uh, I think it's like a week. Meal number one. We have room for improvement. I think hitting my 2,600 calorie deficit today. Well, today is definitely not going to happen, but in general, it's going to be a little more difficult than maybe I thought. All right, so my stomach right now is at like an eight and a half. <clears throat> my brain's probably at like a seven and a half or eight. My strength is at a eight and a half. So feeling pretty good yet, which is to be expected on the first day or half day. Wow. I got some work ahead of me tomorrow, though. I gotta, I gotta put in some hours. If I don't bring home the bacon, if I start struggling tomorrow, it's not gonna be good. All right, I'm gonna go to bed. See you in the morning. All right, it's officially been 18 hours since we started the clock last. I need to go catch some more fish. Right now it's 47 degrees outside. 
and it says it's supposed to rain until 10 p.m. tonight. So, definitely need to make sure I stay hydrated today. Serious? Come on. Ah! This is why you don't go fishing in the dark. My line is like snarled. I think I'm getting a little hangry also. Mental stability this morning. Might be taking a hit. Strength. Hmm. Seven. Brain. Brain's at a six and a half right now dealing with this stomach is at a five so those aren't really great numbers but we can make today great it's gonna have a few things go our way there's an ungodly amount of mosquitoes out again today look at that three mosquitoes in one hit all tied up i need water though first spot I'm heading to this morning is to the same spot I was at last night. There's a lot of fish activity down there, so hopefully I can use this thing and catch some more of those. <laughs> it is a little odd, like, starting my morning off, not eating anything. In, uh, in the perfect world, I would have had some fish to take down this morning, but... That's what my hope to do today is, stock up on some stuff so I have uh, meals for more than just the next one. I'm going to try to move further south down the river too because apparently there's some salmon in here. So salmon would be a great, great so source of protein, be tasty, and give me a lot of the nutrients that I need. This is where I was fishing last night. Hopefully the fish activity Stay as good now as it was then. Definitely don't have great stability today. Feel like a little, a little off. You know, like when you wake up in the morning and don't have your coffee? Yeah, it's kind of like that. Got one. Oh, he got off, dang it. Definitely not as much fish activity this morning. It's not looking good. I can feel myself kind of like starting to become a little uh, more ornery and impatient. But I need to be patient because I need to get I need to get a fish here. This is Marie. God. Oh. Uh oh. Nice, dude. Way to go. God dang it, Maverick. Ah! <laughs> what was that, dude? Got a FaceTime call from Murray. And then I just lost my freaking fish. I'm an idiot. Oh, man. Yeah. Definitely getting ornery. It's exactly how I would expect it to go. Right when I'm not paying attention? Sure, why not? That was almost it right there. <gasps> Normally people in the river use a, uh, a felt bottom boot, but me, I've got rubber ones. So the rubber ones are good for when you're in really muddy environments. And then the, the felt bottom ones are really good for rocks. Typically where I fish, there's a lot of mud on the trails to get to the spot. But here on the East Coast and then in like Montana and stuff, it looks like we've got a bit more, uh, a bit more rock. And if only could, I'd make a deal with God. For love is just somebody. 
And if I only could, I'd go to McDonald's right now, and I'd order a Big Mac, please. Don't even say that, dude. Don't even say that. Crouching, balance, love it. The thing that's nice about now is that, uh, well, what's nice about now? The thing that's nice about it being light out is that while I'm walking, I can actively look for plants to eat or mushrooms, which we honestly have a pretty good chance of with all the moisture that we've been getting. So I just saw this little plant here. It's got these little berries on it. I was like, oh, maybe, maybe you could eat those. Better check. This is called uh, Moro's Honeysuckle. And uh, Moro's Honeysuckle is extremely poisonous. It's highly toxic to all animal species with parts of the plant containing poisonous glycinicides. A little ingestion will cause poisoning and even death. So birds can eat it, but it's uh, poisonous to humans. What about this thing? What is this? Well, that is milkweed. So apparently, milkweed tastes like asparagus, only better. Which I find hard to believe, so we might have to try that out. I grab some bunches of milkweed. All right, got our common milkweed. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep fishing or not. It's kind of a bad day with the weather. Just cold. <gasps> no way, bro. Let's go. You see these? There's strawberry plants out here. No way. We'll double check here really quick. Wow, that's a huge find if these are strawberries. They're wild strawberries, let's go, dude. So sick, so sick. Not only that, they're everywhere. There's some here, there's some here, there's some over there. Look at these beautiful little things. I can't believe it. Like, what are the odds and they're ripe and everything? It was my first time finding strawberry. Like I've never, I don't know if we get strawberry in the Midwest. We get raspberries, but this is different, man. It's crazy because all that picking and all those probably add up to be like one strawberry that you get in the grocery store. <laughs> but I am not complaining by any means. Now that I'm actually looking for it, the strawberry plants are actually really easy to identify, so if you look, these bright red vines kind of going through here. It's got like this three leaf spiky pattern. You can see, look at right there. I've been picking for like an hour and that's what I got, so say it's about maybe a pound. It's almost been 24 hours and really the only protein I've had was that that fish last night. Strawberries were a great find, but I'm thinking I'm gonna have to relocate. It's not a great day for fishing. And I'd like to uh, be guaranteed some some sort of protein for tonight. Keep my body running for tomorrow. All right, so here's the loot, milkweed, and some strawberries. It's almost noon and I'm getting really hungry. It's a lot of work, man. A lot of work for not much to show for it. I would be feeling pretty bad if I was uh, in the primitive ages. No meat for my wife. Been walking around with zero mm. Tough. This is... 
This is out in the middle of nowhere. Like, look at how overgrown that is. It doesn't really, doesn't look like I should be able to drive back here. And to be honest, I don't really want to push my luck with how far back I can drive it. There's still a lot of river to fish, but my confidence is not very high. Mental's at a six. Stomach at a six. Strength at a five right now. My plan is to drive to the coast. Right now I'm like three hours away, but I should be there in time then for, uh, for low tide. So if I can't find any clams or mussels, I'll be able to find um, some snails, fingers crossed. There's an invasive species here, so should be able to find some protein a little, a little easier. Can't let it get me discouraged though, I gotta keep on trucking. Nice. See how long it's been. Wow. It hasn't even been 24 hours yet, and here I am struggling. What are those? Alright, before I leave, I'm gonna take. These look poisonous. Oh, very poisonous. Yep, that's good. Cattail root. Cattail is very fibrous, so there's not too many pizzas that you can like just chew up and digest. This is the best part right here. really giving celery vibes. It's actually not bad. It's also full of starches, so hopefully it kind of fills me up a little bit before I uh, take this long drive. Right now I'm feeling tired, kind of. I'm also worried because nothing's ever promised, right? So like I could go all the way to the coast and not really get anything. But I have a, f I have a pretty good feeling about being able to at least find some periwinkle snails. The fishing or the clamming thing, I don't really know much about. So this is all, all new to me. As you can tell, I'm not like a expert main forager, but I'm just making do with what I know, and learning some things along the way, of course. But if I don't get something substantial in my stomach soon, it's gonna be rough. Thin ice, huh? All right, well, I saw this bridge yesterday when I came over here. I think I need to make a couple casts before uh, I move on. Wow, that's creepy. Uh, yeah, no thanks. These look like freshwater mussels. And I don't think they're very good to eat, but. So these are freshwater mussels. Mussels are like a, a filter feeder. So I don't really know how I feel about eating a, a freshwater mussel, especially by the road like that. 
Hey Siri, how do I find a cheeseburger in the woods? My stomach started growling. Um, I definitely am feeling like a little, not lightheaded, but like, like some brain fog is there. I'm just really hyper focused on food. Like anytime I see a sign that says like pizza or like burger, my mouth like automatically begins to salivate. So that's, that's something. It's funny, I'm only uh, 20, 29 hours in and I would almost throw the towel for a pulled pork sandwich right now. That just sounds unreal. People do water fasting for like five days. I don't really know how you do it. I'm hoping that once we get to the beach, we can find some mussels or some clams. Um, there's a possibility for me to be fishing. However, it is really windy, so we'll have to wait and see. Perfect. Periwinkle. Dude, mussels, let's go. There's so many mussels on this rock. Look at that, in that one pull, I got five. Dude, this is gonna be so good. I must've just got like 30 muscles off of that one rock. It was amazing. Oh, thank you. Look at all these muscles. This is amazing. I'm not gonna have to eat those freshwater ones now. Thank God. We got our mixed bag of periwinkle and mussels. Now I gotta walk about a mile back to the truck. Oh, this is so relieving, man. So, so relieving. All right, just grabbing some seawater here to boil them in. This is a lot of work today. It's not easy. We got a meal. Howdy. I am drained, man. There's dinner. Okay. I'm gonna make some milkweed shoots for the first time. All right, so I just threw some couple seasonings in there just to spice it up a bit here I've got my milkweed cut there's the leaves and here's the roots that I'm not gonna eat I have a handful of strawberries here quick this is a little appetizer so those little wild strawberries still very tasty bursting with flavor for how small those things are they pack a punch Fresh mussels. Mm. 
so good. These are deadly. Mussels are like one of my favorite foods anyway, so being able to forage them today, mm, this is hitting right now. A little mussel pearl. Against all odds. On a slow fishing day, I made something happen. I'm so happy that this decision freaking paid off, dude. Oh. Dude, it tastes like, it tastes like asparagus. It's good. It's really good. Yeah, I'm glad I grabbed this stuff. It's just like a little tough, like the stalks. I think you're usually supposed to get them when they're younger. This is what the snail looks like on the inside. Pretty good. A lot of work for a small piece of meat though. Mm. Not very easy getting them out, I'll tell you that. If I had to survive on just these, I'd be going mad right now. So here's how you eat these things. I boiled them for about 20 minutes. You gotta take a, you're supposed to use a pin or a needle and you pull out the I think they call this the boot which is like a hard callus and then we're supposed to grab it pull it out and there you go there's your snail discard the shell <sighs> yeah it's good it's like I wouldn't say it's as good as a muscle but it's definitely not that much worse than a muscle there's a lot of work for that little piece of meat though. Just so you know, there ain't nothing in here. It's just flavored water. Diesel heater's running for the first time since the first day on this trip, <laughs> which is crazy. Really nice to have it. My brain is at like a nine right now. My strength is probably at like an eight. And my stomach is at a nine and a half. The only thing that would put it right over the edge. Now you're gonna say it. Now you're gonna say it. Okay, nope, we're going to bed. All right. Dream a cheesecake. I had the hardest time sleeping last night. I had to break out the, this thing. You know, the thing that you put on your eyes when you wanna just do that. First time I've used it, worked great. But it made me sleep until 10. I think low tide's still out right now, so I might go try to forage some more mussels. Start my day off with a handful of berries. Strawberries are hitting different right now, man. Brain is foggy right now, but at about a seven. Stomach, I'd give it a seven. And strength is probably about a six. I feel like my arms are getting skinnier. I can, I just feel like I have less 
mass to me, if that makes sense. Actually, it does make complete sense because I haven't been taking in nearly enough calories. One of the biggest things when doing something like this is make sure that you have enough water. Your body is depleting all of your water resources and sucking it out of your muscles, so it needs to replenish them. And the only way you're gonna do that is by staying hydrated. There's another muscle. Look at this one. There's a lot. Oh, here we go. Look at all these on here. In here. We just walked all over there and couldn't find any. That's the biggest one yet, right here. Got a bunch of barnacles on them. That's probably about enough for me. All right, water. Time to make some lunch. It never fails to amaze me how just after two days of not eating right, you can feel so ornery. Every little thing just feels like it's out to get me. Sure. We've got the mussels inside of our pot ready to steam. A little bit of curry seasoning. I'm definitely feeling a little, a little funky right now. It's like one in the afternoon, tide's starting to come up now, and I'm starting to get very hungry. <laughs> is a lot of muscles, but I'm not gonna have any problem putting them on though. And if I do, if I do get full, I'm just gonna save the cooked ones. That was a snap. Look at the little, the tiny little pearls in there. feel big when they're in their mouth. <laughs> Mussels have two main parts to them when you eat them. You've got the body or the main part of the muscle. And then there's this little piece right here. Kind of holds it together. And that piece kind of tastes like a scalp. Honestly, I thought I would have been more sick of mussels by now. But I love them. I'm going to save some of these for tomorrow. I could eat them all right now, but... It's not in my best interest. Yuck. So bland. Ugh. I hate this. I hate this so much. Slimy cattail. Now that I'm not a menace to society, I'm gonna drive and try to find a spot that's good for fishing for striped bass. Cue a two hour road trip. I'm pretty sore, like my neck sore, Jesus. My neck sore, I got a little bit of like a top headache, but my stomach's full, so that's nice. I feel a little floaty, like, like I'm not all there. Not that I'm always all there, but it feels different. What a weird bridge. So sick. I don't think I've ever seen a bridge like this. Only support in the middle. All right, in that short two hours, my stomach is already rumbling. I don't know how that's possible, but here we are.
All right, this is my uh, my first outing going for striped bass. So we've only got a couple hours before this park closes down. I don't know if they're gonna kick me out or what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna try to cover as much water as possible in that time. How's it going? No, yeah, no worries. I was gonna head out soon anyway. Uh, any luck? Uh, not really. No. Have you? Uh, do you fish out here often? I do. Mm -hmm. My car off yeah. when I'm Sounds good, man. This is really good. Oh yeah. man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. like, I'll give you that one and keep this one. Sweet. One's Thank you so much. Is there any other fish to go for around here that would be you'd be able to be catch to uh, eat? Uh, Pollock. Appreciate it, man. What was yeah, your name? Bro. Joey. Nice to meet you. Maverick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, have a good night. You too. Thank you. Thanks again. That was so nice. All right, no stripers for me there, but I'll try to catch some pollock. Sure, it's pretty out though. I probably should eat something tonight, but I'm so tired. Oh. See you in the morning. Good morning. This place is getting a little nasty. Oh, 65 hours. That means I got seven hours left of this journey. Let's, uh, Let's go try to catch some of those fish, shall we? Some pollock? This morning, I would say, brain doesn't really know where it's at right now, to be honest. I don't know what it's at, man. I'll say a five. Brain's at a five. Strength, like, I feel like shaky. Like, not, not great. So, strength's probably at like a five. And stomach, Stomach doesn't know how to act. Stomach's at a five right now because it's not growling. I'm not like in severe pain for food. I cut myself some rope. Nice. Can't eat that. Moving on to a new spot. It's hot out. I'm burning a lot of energy. And I am apparently not a good fisherman in Maine. Right now my stomach's kind of churning, feels just tight and empty. It's been about 24 hours since I've had my last meal, so nothing gets you out of bed in the morning like needing to find your food though. Alrighty, here we are. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Oh, there's a bite. I had a bite. I don't know where he's at though. Questioning life as a fisherman. Oh. I don't know why I can't catch a fish. I need to keep being patient, but it's also low tide and I am not, I'm not vibing right now. I'm just gonna sit in the sun for a second. finally hit 72 hours so let's go find uh, the nearest restaurant thank you god
Oh, good lord, that was busting. All right, well, there you have it. Just be appreciative for all of the uh, amenities that you have in your life. I know I am right now. As always, until next time, you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking.